Let's look at using Adobe Spark to add text to images. Some people call these info pics. It's a great way to summarize information and it's also good for social media if you post this on Facebook or Twitter to spread some ideas. Adobe Spark is a new tool and I've been really impressed with how simple it is to, to add text to images. I'm at spark.adobe.com and to get started just click login and we're going to pick this option to sign in with Google if you're on a Chromebook then you'll already be signed into Chrome otherwise you might have to enter your information here for your Google account I'm going to click that and that should bring up my account the first time you come in it will ask you to accept some terms and to allow it to have access to your account so I'm going to click this plus sign and that will show me the three types of projects that you can create with Spark. I'm going to pick post, that's what it calls the image with text. When the editor loads up you would type your text here and then down here you can pick the uh, the size that you want. I actually like the Twitter one so I'm going to choose that. You can choose this later if you don't want to do it now and I will click continue. Now when it first comes up it will suggest it'll have a picture in there it will have a format and it's just suggested you can change all of this using these options up here and so first of all let's find a good photo for this and you click photo here and then click replace and you can upload a photo or you could bring it in from these other tools I'm going to click find photos and I just want to look for something with a computer in it something that would go well with this uh, maybe this picture here would be good then for the the text options when you click the text this wheel will let you scroll around and just see some different combinations I guess these are mostly random combinations but I like to use that to maybe get some things like the font that I want maybe the the color but then I adjust it so let's say I wanted to use this and then you can change anything any of these features if you say save and then when you get to this these are all the different features that you can change so I could change that shape sometimes I like to have it just go across the whole page like this and then I will shorten that I'm going to save that and then I can pick the color these are suggested colors if I don't want these suggested ones I can pick from any color down here if you click this again it switches them between the background and the text color so for my purposes here I'm going to say this is good I like this and there are many other features to explore here then when it's done you'll click share this information on the right will be if you want to post it online a lot of times for your your class projects you might not want to put it online directly on their site so I'm not even gonna say anything about this especially don't put it online if you have some sort of information in this picture that is referring to you personally I'm gonna click download which will save it to my computer and then once it's on my computer that allows me to upload it to Classroom or to share it through Google Drive depending on the directions for the assignment.